Welcome back guys, it's Ivan from BernieBiz.com and if you watched our last video, I showed you how to create graphics and uh, program the Nexion displays uh, for the touch areas and this is part two, so today what we're going to do, we're going to look at the Arduino programming side of it and uh, we're using uh, Leonardo for this, so let me switch and we're using this one because we want to send uh, keyboard presses to a computer that's running MAME, the arcade uh, emulator and the Leonardo is one of the boards in the Arduino lineup that has keyboard and mouse emulation built in. Uh, so this is a great choice for that. Uh, as you can see, it's plugged in directly into the Nexion, the display, because these, uh, the five inch at least, uh, uses 410 milliamps or something like that. And we can source up to 500 milliamps from the Leonardo so we can power the LCD directly from the Leonardo without having to use a separate power supply. So we have four pins, two, uh, two of them are uh, power and ground, that's connected to five volts and ground on the Leonardo, and the other two are for serial communication. They're connected right now to 10 and 11 uh, because we're gonna be using uh, software serial uh, emulation for the, this project, and I'll show you that uh, right now on uh, when we go and look at the code. So there you go, so that's what we're gonna look at today. So uh, we're gonna look at how to install a library. There's a little bit of tweaks to do, uh, so it'll work uh, fine with a Leonardo. And uh, so we're gonna go look at the code, and then we'll come back and see it in action. So let's go check that out. All right, so here's the code we're gonna use today. We're including all the needed libraries at the beginning. We got the Nexion library, the software serial, and the keyboard. Uh, the Nexion you can find on their website right here. And the software serial, you can find a copy of that right here. Uh, now we're using software serial to emulate a COM port. So basically we need to tell the Nexion um, library that we're using a software serial port. Uh, so we're going to go and check how to modify the config file of the library right now. All right, so the file we need to edit is this one right here, nextconfig.h. Uh, you'll find that file in your Arduino libraries and the Nexion library folder. So we'll open that file up right here. And what we need to modify, and why are we using a software serial instead of the one that's built in the Leonardo? Uh, the reason is by default, the Nexion library wants two serial ports. It wants one for debugging, as you can see here, to enable it, and we use this, the first serial port for debugging purposes. And it uses serial two to communicate back and forth to get information in and out uh, or of the display. Now, I'm not doing debugging in this one, so basically I'm comment commenting out these two lines. So we're not defining the, uh, we're not enabling it, and we're not using it. So these are both commented out. But I could enable these, and then I would use the Leonardo's uh, hardware serial port. So you could do that, but I'm, I'm not doing it now. But I am, I don't have a second serial port on the Leonardo since it only has one of them. And the Uno is the same for that matter. Uh, if you were using a Mega, an Arduino Mega, it has two serial ports available. So you wouldn't have to modify any of this here and you wouldn't have to use a software serial either. Now I'm using software serial for communicating between the display and the, uh, the Leonardo. But if I wanted to do some debugging to see what's going on, I could enable this and then just uncomment these two lines. So to use the software serial, we're including these three lines instead. Include the software, extern, that's the HMI is the name we're gonna give it. We'll see that right after this. And we're defining the next serial is using HMI serial instead. So that's why we're using software serial. So once you've done those changes, just save the file and let's go back to the code. All right, now that we edited that file, we can continue. So here's our software serial named HMI serial. Uh, it's connected to pin 10 and 11 on the Arduino, which are connected to transmit and receive of the Nexteon display. Uh, now, the first part, we need to declare everything, uh, basically, that we created in the Nexteon display as a touch event. So we say next hotspot M0 will be equal to this hotspot on the display. So here is the page. This is the ID, and this is the name of the hotspot. So if I go to the Nexteon editor, let's say I click M1, and you see here the object name is M1, the ID is two, and it's on page zero. So you do this for each one of them. Uh, when you get to page one, because I have three pages, uh, it's still M0, M1, M2, M3, but you give it a different name so you can refer to it. 
So I called it M0 page one, M0 page two, and on page zero, I, I didn't put page zero. I just used the uh, normal stuff. And you do this for each one of them. Uh, then you need to create an array that will contain all the hotspot or all the touchscreen events that are possible. So you create the array, and these are the page zero hotspots. These are the page one hotspots using the name that we created up there. And you do this for each one of them. And then we create functions that will run, and they'll be associated to the touchscreen events. So let's say the M0 will be the pause key on, uh, on our screen. So when uh, you press the pause, it will go into this function and do keyboard press P. And this delay of 250 is very important for MAME uh, emulator. If you're using this project for Windows, then you don't need that delay, it will work. But MAME, for some reason, needs a delay for it to register the key. And then you release the key. And we do a function like this for each events that are possible. So we go down, more, we have three pages of this. So it's all the same thing, but different presses. Then we get to the main setup. So we have, we begin our serial communication at 9600, which is the default of the Nexteon display. And then we initialize the display and we start the keyboard emulation. And then we link the touchscreen events to their functions. So M0, attach push, which means when I press the key, I will run this function. And you do this for each one of them. So we continue down. And as you can see in the main loop, there's not nothing much because we declared everything in functions. So we just do a delay of 100 just to not call the next day on display uh, nonstop. And then you do next loop and the name of the array you created. And when you press something, it's going to go to the associated function that we created up here. So hopefully that's not too confusing. There's a lot of stuff here, but there's a lot of repetition too. So... That's it, so let's go check out the display uh, installed in my friend's uh, cabinet, and uh, let's see how it works. All right, so here we are at my friend's cam. This is his uh, arcade cabinet. Uh, it's pretty cool, it's got a lot of flashing light. Uh, he just finished it, and we just finished installing the uh, panel, as you can see here. Uh, so, as you can see, we have all the buttons that we programmed. Uh, now I'm going to choose a game to start on the MAME emulator. Uh, this is actually the Hyperspin front, e uh, front end uh, for MAME, and my favorite game, there it is, Galaga. So we're going to start uh, the game now. Uh, his cabinet's pretty cool. It's got, like, uh, this monitor at the top of the cabinet that uh, he uses as a marquee. So basically, every time you start a game, it's going to load up the right marquee for that game. And you're going to see that when I pan up here. So I'm starting Galaga, and there you go on the monitor. It, it's displaying the marquee for Galaga, and this changes every time you uh, select a different game. So a uh, very nice cabinet. Worked really hard on it. It's really cool. Uh, so there we go. So now we have Galaga loaded, and I'm going to press on pause on the little panel. So pause, it pauses the game, changes the button to resume. And now I'm going to press menu to access the uh, configuration menu of MAME, and there it is. I changed the page on the display. Now I'm going to use the arrows to go up and down in the menu. And then I'm going to go to return to machine, press enter, and I'm returning. I'm back to the machine. I'm going to go back to the uh, page zero and unpause the game. And there you go. Works fine. Really cool. I really want to build uh, one of these for my machine. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this project. And let's go back and wrap it up. All right, so that'll do for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this series of uh, tutorials on how to use the Nexion display. I'm going to be using these guys quite a bit more because they are very convenient to use with an Arduino since they only use two pins. So for some project, these are a great uh, choice. Uh, also, I wanted to let you know that if you want more information and download the code of our tutorials, go to our website, burningbills.com slash tutorials. Uh, for most of these tutorials, we write uh, pages where you can get the code and everything, so I invite you to check that out. So that'll do it. So until next time, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.